an extended family of Greek Australians reunited in Athens in 1997. Very much the life of the party was George Corrales from Melbourne and his first cousin George Louisus. But less than a year later, they would die together in violent circumstances which remain unexplained. Κυρίες και κύριοι καλησπέρα. Πέντε ιατροί δικαστές εξέτασαν στο νεκροτομείο της σωρούς των δύο νεαρών που βρέθηκαν νεκροί σε ένα κυβέρνητο φουσκωτό στα νυχτά στον Σχοινιά. Είναι δύο άνθρωποι που έφυγαν τελώς άδικα, δύο αθώοι άνθρωποι που απλά βρέθηκαν σε λάθος τόπο και λάθος χρόνο. Οι ιατροδικαστές όμως δεν μπορούν να αποκτογραφήσουν το μεγάλο μυστικό πίσω από αυτή την διπλή σφαγή καθώς και το τι προηγήθηκε της εγκληματικής ενέργειας. It was, it was surreal, actually. It was, um, it was, uh, it felt like something you'd see in an in episode of Bold and the Beautiful or something like that. It was absolutely surreal. Another first cousin to the two dead men was George Malonis, shown here with his cousins, George Louisus on the left and George Corrales on the right. In family circles, they were known as the Three Georges. From his Australian base, George Malonis has been demanding answers about his cousin's deaths in Greece. Four years on, only questions remain. Malonis's quest for justice has brought him into conflict with the Greek authorities who investigated the deaths. You know, for, for them not to be willing to solve a simple murder, and it is a simple murder when you look at all the facts, um, not to be willing to look at it when they're, they're hosting some of the most important people in the world in a couple of years' time, um, that's a bit of a joke. In Greece, the young widow of George Louisus, Effie, has led the family's fight with the Greek authorities. Έχουν γίνει πάρα πάρα πολλά λάθη από μεριά του και σήμερα μπορώ να πω ότι χαίρομαι γι' αυτό. Γιατί εγώ πάνω σε αυτά τα λάθη στηρίζομαι. Πιστεύω όμω, επειδή έχουν ασχοληθεί με αυτή την υπόθεση πολύ ικανοί άνθρωποι, δηλαδή τα ονόματά του είναι πολύ γνωστά εδώ στην Ελλάδα, ε, δεν μπορώ να θεωρήσω ότι είναι ανίκανοι. Κάτι άλλο πρέπει να του συνέβη για να χειριστούν έτσι αυτή την υπόθεση. The preface for this tragic tale began many years ago in Melbourne. For nearly two decades, the Louisus, Corrales and Malonis families lived together there. Their children were all first cousins and the bond was close. And just an example, I had a car accident probably three months before George Corrales died. He was in America, he heard about it and he called me up and he used this word called uh, anatrichasa in, in Greek. And it means when I heard you had a car accident, the hairs on my arms and legs just rose up and I had to call you straight away. You know, you're all right, what's happened? Um, it's just the type of person he was. He was very emotional, probably sometimes too emotional, <laughs> but uh, that was the, the loving aspect of him. In the early 80s, the Louisa's family returned to Greece permanently. But the friendship amongst the three cousins was merely interrupted. Near Makri, an hour's drive from Athens and the town where George Louisus made his home and his reputation as a radio DJ. Ακούτε πάντα την εκπομπή Ελληνική Μουσική Παράδοση που επιμελείται για σας ο Γιώργος Λουίζος. Θα είμαστε μαζί τουλάχιστον μέχρι τις τρεις. As a local radio personality, George Louisus was well known in Near Makri. He was an environmentalist loved music and took a keen interest in Greek history and literature. 
When his cousin George Kouralis made an extended visit to Greece in 1997, he also became popular with the Neomarkri locals. In one month, he knew Greek better than me. Even the slang, you know, words we use, he knew them better than me. And he got really strong, you know, like, you know, when somebody comes to a different country and he doesn't know how to stand in a place or speak or whatever, he got so um, connected, he started connecting with people very good, very well. And he was so friendly, everybody loved him, especially our friends. June 2nd, 1998, and George Louisus decided to take his visiting cousin, George Corrales, for a late afternoon boat trip across the Evia Straits. Near Markri lies on the western flanks of the Evia Straits. The seaside town of Porto Bufalu is less than an hour's boat ride away, a popular joy trip destination. The boys left late in the afternoon, but the mountains of Evia were still clearly visible in the distance. They made good time to Porto Bafulu. They shared a coffee and an uzo at the local taverna. Witnesses there described the two cousins as being in good spirits. The same witnesses waved to the two Georges as they headed off on their return to Neomakri. It was just before 7 p.m. The sun was still well up in the sky and the seas were dead calm. At about 4.30 a.m., a fisherman found the boys' boat drifting a short distance northeast of Neomakri. He came closer to investigate. What I told him was that from the first time is that the boat has been found without the kids. I'm talking to you that I had a very big joy, because I knew that the two of them were very good. They had a very good physical experience και ξέραν πολύ καλό κολύμπι και είπα, εντάξει, κάτι άσχημο συνέβη με το σκάφος, με τον καιρό, τους έφυγε το σκάφος, εντάξει, δεν υπάρχει κάποιο πρόβλημα. With no access to the radio and sitting in the port police office in nearby Rafina, Effie was unaware that her husband had been discovered on board. Και να πούμε ότι ακριβώς εδώ πίσω, εκεί που φαίνεται η μηχανή στο πίσω μέρος, βρέθηκε το πτώμα του Γιώργου Λοΐζου, ήταν δεμένος από ένα σκηνή δύο μέτρων. Ήταν δεμένος από την ζώνη και ήταν κομματιασμένο κυριολεκτικά το στήθος του. Τον είχαν δεμένον, τον είχαν πετάξει μέσα στη θάλασσα με τα παπούτσια όπως ήταν για τις κάλτσες και τον, υπήρε, τον πήρε η προπέλα της μηχανής, τη βάλανε μπρος, την εξολέμβιο και τον έκαμε κομμάτια. Βέβαια το πτώμα δεν το είχε διαμελήσει, ήταν ρόπιο, αλλά είχε δέκα μεγάλα τραύματα και τον είχε κάνει πλέον. Ήταν ένα φρικτό θέαμα, φρικτό θέαμα και απέσυρε διότι πρώτη φορά έβλεπα έναν τέτοιο κομματιασμένο άνθρωπο. Both men were dead. George Corrales was hanging from the roll bar of the speedboat. His cousin George Louisus, face down in the water, was tied with his belt to the side of the propeller. The boat was full of blood. It was up to Stamatis Kokonogeni, Effie's father, to hold the family together as the devastating news filtered through. Even during those early hours, he recalls becoming uneasy about the investigation. Η οποία μπαίνει σε να πηγαίνει σε κάποιο χορευτικό τέλειο και λέει: Έλατε, πάμε, τε, πάμε. Τε. Ποια είναι αυτή, λέει η κυρία Μαριάνου, καλά σε πάρτι πάει. Εκεί πραγματικά πιστεύω ότι υπάρχει δύναμη του Θεού, διότι την ώρα πια που είχε φτάσει η ώρα δυόμιση και έφυγε, βρισκόταν εδώ, η απεφάσισε όταν η ώρα είναι στο πω. Λέει: Δε τι, έχουν τραυματιστεί τα παιδιά. Λέω: Και τα δύο παιδιά είναι σκοτωμένα. Και έφυγα, μου γέλασε λίγο, μου λέει: Χιούμορ έχει και μετά το σε.